This video will be a short one. I want to talk about resetting the values after you've done some action in your live wire component. So for example, you made some actions in your form, then you want to save the data, and then you want to clear up the values. Quite often people do it like this. In the live wire component, at the end, after some action like storing the post, they do this. This title and this slug, which are both public properties of the component, they just reset them one by one, each in its own line. But Livewire offers a helper to do it shorter. This reset, like this. So what reset does is takes all the properties, all the public properties from the class and returns them to the original values. Keep in mind that those original values are here, not in the mount method. If you have a separate mount method, for example, mount, and then you set this title, for example, to ABC by default, look what happens. So first let's comment this out like it didn't exist. Then let's comment those out. And if we add some data, add post, it resets itself, right? So all the reset happens with parameters being returned to empty values. So if you set the default values here, ABC, let's repeat that again. And ABC becomes the default value. Now let's add a post and it's returned to the ABC, to this one. But if you set that in the mount method, this title equals something. Then we refresh, then the ABC is still present as the first mounted value. But if we add post, the value is empty. So reset sets back the value not to the mount method, but before the mount method, what you defined here. Also, you can specify the specific variables to reset. For example, you can reset only title or within array title and something, title slug, maybe there would be something else. So you may specify that as optional parameters of the reset function. 